Well, I wasn't going to do a video today. I kind of got so much video material already recorded. I didn't really need to. I was going to have a couple of days off, but uh, something's come up that I'm going to have to go and investigate just to see how much damage has been done. But while I got the camera out, I will show you what I've been up to. Um, before the granny flat was built, there was a fence across here so we could get in and out of that field without the dogs get, getting out. So I've just, we had to set the gate out because the gate was kind of down there somewhere. That gate there was down there. And I decided I want to put it back just in case we have any functions or we want to do anything at that field out there. Um, we can close the garden off and keep the dogs over there. So this has been my job in between showers and little farm duties for the last couple of days, um, putting this gate in. So I actually got the guys to dig some of the post holes for me, um, <laughs> but I didn't give them a tape measure. I told them how far I wanted the posts apart, but I didn't give them a tape measure. So it is, maybe it's my fault that they dug the holes in the wrong places and I've had to redig them again. So. We just won't say an answer. Uh, we're reusing most of the old fencing. I've had to buy a couple of rails and a couple of posts. Um, it would have been nice to put all new in, but that fence and the posts we took out were only a couple of years old. And do you know what? The cost, I know I keep on about the cost of stuff, but the cost of those fence rails and the posts is like, no, I'm definitely going to reuse the old stuff. So. It's a bit motley, mitch matchy of colours and stuff like that, but all I wanted was a fence up here that it will stop anybody falling down there and keep the dogs in. I mean, if they really, really, really want to get out of there, the collies are just going to come straight up over the top of that. But I'm kind of hoping that they'll get the message, gate shut, stay in there. Maybe. So, anyway, we're going to the farm. I hadn't intended to go to the farm this afternoon or this evening. It's actually six o'clock. Tonight's video has just gone up. But I had a phone call from Reg earlier to tell me we've had a trespasser. Not any old trespasser, just been walking where they're not supposed to be, but possibly one of Mr. Cornock's friends in a 4x4. And they've decided to take a, a drive through our OSR. Yeah. I don't think they got very far. I think they decided it was actually quite hard work, but apparently some damage has been done. So I'm going to go over and just see, see how bad it is. So, um, it's only a couple of weeks to harvest. Probably end of the month, end of, well, end of next month, end of July. I think Reg is on about spraying off and desiccating the OSR second half of next week and it'd be like 14, 18 days after that we'll be looking at putting a combine in there. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the extent of the damage is, I'm really hoping it's minor but I would really like to meet the person who did it a lot. Let's go and have a look, see what they've done. Well, we're here. I was kind of open, I'd put the drone up and have a look at it from the sky, but it's raining. So maybe I won't. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look too terrible. You can stay there because you get wet feet. Stay there. It's 
Looks like someone's reversed in there. I'm not sure quite what has gone on here. That doesn't look like wheel tracks, does it? That looks more like someone's been out here and just trampled it. That's weird. That's almost, that's almost like deliberate vandalism. That's been, they've gone down so far. That's not a vehicle. They've all been pushed down that way. If I didn't know any better, I'd say a bunch of walkers have been out here and tried to get out here, because there's no sign of any tire tracks. How, how strange. That, to me, just looks like a, an act of deliberate vandalism. But why? Have cattle got out here? There's no hoof prints or muck. Oh, it's a shame it's raining. I you put the drone up and we'd have a look. Maybe we could see a bit more from up there, but... Yeah, that just looks like someone's been out here and deliberately... Well, it's not as extensive as I thought it might have been. I mean, it's bad enough, but... Yeah, it looks like someone's had a party at there. Okay. Well, that's not going to brighten up anytime soon. I don't think we're going to get a drone up. Maybe another day. What are people like? I don't know, I can't explain it. I can't explain it, so. But at least it's not a vehicle. A vehicle could have done worse damage, I suppose. Or was it? I honestly don't know. I don't know what, what caused that. But I would say it was deliberate. You don't accidentally go in there and flatten a whole load of OSR that's as tall as you by accident. Right. Okay. Well, I came, I saw. We'll go again. How's your day been? Good to see your face. How you doing? Tell me your story. I just want to have a conversation. I just want to make a friend or two. I'm not trying to change your mind All I'm trying to do is be nice